Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is, how do you check if an, a given array contains any element of another array? Now read this question properly because it has three parts to it. How to check if a given array, that means you'll be provided an array as an, il as an input contains any element. Here we are talking about matching any element of another array. So basically you will have two inputs. One is the array that you want to check. The other is the array that you wa want to match the elements from. And here the trick is any element. Remember every word matters in a question. So read carefully. Let's get started how to see. Uh, let's see how to solve this question. This is question number 16. Before I get started, again I'll request you please do check out my ebook that will really help you become a better developer. These coding snippets will help you crack any front end developer interview. You can find the link at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you in advance. All right, so the question is how to check if a, if a given array contains any element in another array. To solve this particular problem, we'll have to use includes method and we will use the array includes method to see if any of the values are included from the uh, second array. All right. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the hands on section and see how to do that. OK. All righty. OK. So here I have I'm creating a script. Tag. OK. All right. So first let's define uh, array and let's say student IDs. OK, so this will be the say parent array we where we want to check and give any values that you want. It can be any number. OK, now the second one you will say is say um, past IDs. That means people who have passed. OK, not passed away, just passed. <laughs> All right, so I have two arrays. Uh, now I have to check if these uh, past IDs are present in student IDs or any element is matching. OK, so for that what we are going to do. So let's just collect it into a variable and say uh, result is equal to then I'm going to say student ID start. Now here that is a trick that you have to match any element any remember. So I'm going to use some that means if some matches any element matches and then I'm going to say element which now what is the second array past IDs dot now does it include that is the question right so how do you do that so dot sum and we get the array and here we will then check dot say values or say includes ELE -E. that means whether this array includes any element that is there in this okay so now let's do a result and see what we get as output all right let's go ahead and refresh and it says true that means it found some matching values all right now let's test it by putting some values which are not there 23 so now you see None of the values are there in the parent one. So let's see what the result is. It should be false. It is still true. Let's see why. Because some values. So 1, 40, 30, 34 is there. See, OK, my bad. Uh, all right, so now there are finally no matching values. Let's refresh and now it says false. That means none of the values match in this particular given array. Right. So this is the logic if you want to get and check if any of the values match or not. I hope it's clear. It's pretty simple, straightforward, but trust me, these are the ones that you would use on a day to day basis, even when you're working. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. I hope you're enjoying the ebook. If you have not yet got it, please get it from arctutorials.gumroad.com and you should be able to master most of the logical code snippets that are often asked in interviews or even to become a better developer. Please do subscribe to my channel and ask me your doubts in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.